Hello and welcome to this very quick and easy guide to removing or editing the text here that says tax included shipping calculated at checkout. So we actually offer free shipping and tax isn't included in our products. So this needs to be changed. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Shopify.com and go log in. And we're going to log in quickly to the Shopify store. Once you're logged into your Shopify store, you just want to click on online store and you want to click here and you actually want to press edit languages. We're not going to be editing the code. We're going to be editing the languages here. You can just write shipping um, calculated tax included and shipping calculated at checkout. So we're going to change this to um, Free shipping on all orders over. I don't have a euro thing on my keyboard, euro symbol. <laughs> 200 euros. Okay, we're going to copy this. We're going to stick this here and we're going to save like this. And uh, we are now going to go back to the product and hit refresh. And this should already be done. Tax included, shipping calculate. Let's go on an incognito window just to make sure that it's not just the cache that's the problem. Okay, it doesn't seem to have saved. That's weird. Okay, so I just wrote again tax included uh, on the same thing. This seems to be why I need to change here. So we're going to write that here instead. And we're going to write that here instead. And then we're going to hit save. So it's actually taxes including and shipping policy HTML. Weirdly enough, I don't know why they do that, but there we go. So you can see this has now changed. It says exactly what I want it to say. And it's still hyperlinks shipping, which is nice because that allows people to click here and see the shipping policy that is obviously linked here automatically on Dawn if you have the shipping policy. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope that was helpful. And I know that this is quite an annoying thing for a lot of people. So yeah, I'm glad that I can help people out with these videos. At the end of this video, there's gonna be a playlist that will show you how to do all these kinds of things that you normally would have to pay a Shopify developer to do. Instead, you can watch my videos and do them for yourself just with a little bit more effort, but it's definitely worth it in the long run to save yourselves some money. Thanks for watching guys and peace out.